A trip to the dentist creating a frightening prospect for 7,000 people in Tulsa, Oklahoma. People urged to get tested for a host of serious diseases, including HIV, hepatitis. Health officials saying they may have been exposed by their veteran dentist, a trusted man in their community. How could it happen? ABC's David Wright launches us with the details. Dr. W. Scott Harrington has been practicing oral surgery for 36 years, most recently in this Tulsa, Oklahoma medical building. But authorities are now concerned he may have exposed thousands of his patients to potentially deadly infections. The instruments that came out of the autoclave were horrible. I wouldn't let my nephews play with them out in the dirt. I mean, they were horrible. They had rust on them. Authorities say letters will be sent tomorrow to 7,000 patients, recommending they be tested immediately for hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and HIV. They started investigating after a patient with no other known risk factors tested positive for HIV and hepatitis C. An investigation determined his outdated procedures may have increased the risk of cross-contamination among his patients. For one thing, they say he didn't clean his instruments properly. Authorities say he bleached some instruments, which over time can cause them to become porous. Some of the equipment was rusty, and authorities say he routinely reused needles and vials. And some of his medications were 20 years past their expiry date. We reached out to Dr. Harrington, but his office was closed. He did not return calls. While state officials are stressing it's unlikely the infection has spread widely, they want to be sure the federal Centers for Disease Control are assisting in the investigation. David Wright, ABC News, Los Angeles. And I want to bring in ABC's chief medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser now, because, Rich, 7,000 people? What does this say about scope, severity? Well, I mean, this is absolutely unbelievable that these allegations are true. I talked to the CDC today, and with the millions of people who see the dentist every year, there's only been a handful of infections transmitted over the past 20 years. You know, a member of the team who went in could not believe what she saw in this dentist office. So tell us the red flags for somebody going to the dentist tomorrow morning? Well, I mean, first thing, ask your dentist what they do to prevent infections, but there are a couple red flags. If you ever see old or rusty instruments, that's a warning sign because it's so hard to clean them. Another is if your dentist isn't wearing gloves or isn't changing gloves between patients, that's another red flag. That's a time to find another dentist.